It's Memorial Day. I know we're racing tonight, but we're racing for them, for what they've done for us. This is such a special race. This is a big event. This is a crown jewel. And any race like that has a, a certain feel to it. It has tradition and history that surrounds it. And you feel that electricity. And the Kyle Busch has led over a thousand laps at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Nobody else has led that much here without a points paying victory. I would say it didn't necessarily weigh on me that I haven't had a points win here at Charlotte, but um, you know, overall I've, I've always thought about it. You know, I just want to put that out there where it's like, it's all done. Like just get it out of the way so that nobody can talk about it anymore and it's over with and, and I can get the accomplishment and the solace of being able to have that Accolade. I was well aware that it was on the list of places he hadn't won, and it's not something we had a, a major discussion about, but uh, whenever he could slip it into the conversation, he, he certainly did. Kyle Busch gets his third stage win of 2018. Kyle Busch won stage number one. Now he wins stage number two in the Coca-Cola 600. He's led 179 of the first 200 laps. You know, through the first stage, through the second stage, I was kind of just biding my time. Car felt really, really good. I knew it was a great piece. I uh, just was trying to make sure I kept it in the racetrack and didn't make any mistakes, didn't slip up. And uh, once the four had his troubles, I was like, okay, well, who's who's left that's going to contend with us, you know? And then the 78 sped on pit road. So I was kind of like, oh, well, it seems like nobody wants to contend today. This is pretty nice, you know? I don't know that you can hand one to me that easy, but um, I wasn't complaining. There were so many cars that had speed at different points in time in the race. You don't know who's one adjustment away from maybe being a little bit better than you are. I didn't feel like that we had it in the bag, certainly until I saw that checkered flag. Kyle Busch wins stage three. He just led 300 laps. That's 450 miles. Anytime you run that many laps, there's definitely moments, a close call with another competitor or a slow car or something like that. It certainly wasn't just a cakewalk for 400 laps. People were hitting pit road a little bit quicker than uh, the lap that we had in mind. You're out there, you're cruising around, and then all of a sudden guys are getting tires and they're coming out of the pits and they're blending right up in front of you and it's disturbing your air and it's kind of forcing you into different lines. I think I'm getting my ass kicked here in traffic. Go a couple more here, we're in good shape. Okay, this time. Kyle Busch and his team have put it all together tonight. This race was such a dream come true because I just remember being a little boy, seven, eight, nine years old. Back in the day, before me being seven, eight years old, it was more man versus machine. And is the man going to make it? Is the machine going to make it? What's going to happen? We go to the racetrack trying to win every single weekend. And it's not like we can prepare more or do more to make that happen. Uh, but when it does happen, the victory is even, even a little bit sweeter. The Candyman comes. Kyle Busch gets it done at Charlotte. He has now won everywhere. Yes! Ever since I was a kid, I dreamt of this, man. Yes! You earned it today, pal. We had uh, Sergeant Bosch on our side there. Thanks for that. Great work, guys. Tonight, the little boy's dreams came true, you know, and it just feels so special to have that and to also be able to finally check off the box of being able to win at every single NASCAR track, to be the only one that's done that in the modern era at the tracks that we have raced at um, means so much, and so it's, it's really, really special. Yeah!